That's pretty impressive. So you just sit out here on the strip all day. Just practice, 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 practice. And, and play with your balls. Yep. What's your name? Ash. Ash, that's a great name. I, I, meeting you. What's your name? I'm, I'm Jay Todd from This Week in Gambling. Nice, nice to meet that's you. Show, keep showing. That's, that's impressive. I wish I could do that. Anyone can do it. You just got to put the time into it. Well, you know, like not really. I'm, I'm a married man. I lost my balls about six years ago. <laughs> This Week in Gambling has been made possible by The Gambling Gurus, Casino Reviews, Resort Deals, and Promotions from World Class Gaming Destinations. Visit TheGamblingGurus.com. Hey everyone, great to be back from my miniature summer vacation. Welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd. While I was away, it was so heartfelt and sweet to get so many emails, hundreds of emails from my viewers out there asking me, begging me to take more time off, as much as I needed, even up to a year. That was really sweet, but uh, I had children to feed, so I'm back. Anything happen while I was away? anything at all. Oh yeah, a federal judge in New York ruled that poker is a game of skill and Nevada licensed its first real money poker site. Damn, I should go on vacation more often. Now, before we get too excited about this ruling that poker is a game of skill, let's remember this was a federal judge and most gambling laws involving poker are state laws. You see, it, it's just not going to matter what this judge says about poker being skill or not if you live in a state where there's strict gambling laws. For example, Georgia, where laws there say that any card game played for money is illegal. Skill don't even enter into the equation. Still, other states like to use vague terms on their laws like uh, preponderance or material amount of chance, leaving the laws open to interpretation from judges and prosecutors. However, there is one state where things are moving along quite well for our industry, Nevada. On our August 1st show, we told you all that real money poker in Nevada may be coming sooner rather than later, and now, Fresh on the heels of issuing their first interactive gaming licenses, Nevada is set to welcome its first real money poker site this October. South Point Poker has developed their own proprietary software without having to go through a third party provider. And as exciting as this is, remember, you're going to have to be physically in the state of Nevada if you want to play on their site for real money. Of course, there's no harm in going over there and trying out the software for free. Just visit southpointpoker.com. All right, it's time for our break, but don't move because when we come back, news on when you can catch me on the Vegas Strip, yeah, and the kickoff of the American football season. Don't move. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get our latest videos as soon as they're published. Visit youtube.com slash thisweekingambling. Oh, 
Holy crap, man. It's a lot more uh, plain on my side, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That yeah, sleight of hand is really... Oh, are we going? We good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're... No, no, we're good. We can, we'd start just right now. I'll just start like we're doing it. Go ahead, start with your... My friends, if you have plans to be in Las Vegas near the end of September or the beginning of October, listen up. Yours truly will be filming on the Vegas Strip and in the Fremont Street area, and I welcome all of you to come on over, find me, and crash the show. I don't have our exact dates of filming just yet, but I will in the next week or so. Just remember this. If you decide to come on down and get on camera with me, what happens in Vegas, don't stay in Vegas. It gets put out on the internet for the whole world to see. All right, the American football season is about to kick off. Football! And that means, of course, NFL games and college games for sports bettors, plus fantasy football. Here with more of what's going on is the only man I know that can make spandex pants look good, Peter Loshak from SBR Forums. Thanks, Jay. I don't know what that means, but I don't really have time to think about it right now because college football starting this weekend with week one, and I'm putting everything I have into it. We've already started covering the games at SBR with a ton of videos with lots of great guest handicappers, and our plan is to cover 10 to 15 college games every week with videos at SBR. And this week we actually got to 18, so I'm excited about that. Now, Jay, I don't know if you're looking to get down on some of these college games this weekend, but based on what we talked about in the videos and from what we've been discussing on the forums at SBR, you might want to think about taking a shot with uh, North Carolina State on the money line over Tennessee on Friday. And also, Jay Todd, we're thinking Navy might be a good bet to stay within 16 points of Notre Dame in the big game coming up on Saturday that's being played in Dublin, Ireland. We even got a guy from the famous Right Angle Sports doing handicapping preview videos with us this year. So it's going to be a great year covering football at SBR for sure. Also coming up this weekend is week four of the NFL preseason, and then the regular season starts in two weeks. So that's just going to bring the sports betting frenzy to a whole new level. And of course, the Major League Baseball regular season is plodding along. In September, the rosters on baseball teams expand to 40. So that, combined with the fact that everyone's focusing on football, can make September a great month to look for value in baseball. The opportunities are definitely there to find if you do your homework and pick your spots. And also, all the major soccer leagues have now started. The Premier League, the Spanish League, the Italian League, the German Bundesliga, they've all begun. So as you can see, the sports betting high season is really swinging into gear. Right now, I'm going to go back to my office and get back to capping college football. Back to you, Jay Todd. That's really impressive, man. Here, let me, that has to be, let me try that. Just put it, put it right. The simplest trick is that right there. It's called a squeeze That's, up. Well, that, well, I was doing it. Close your pinky. You just close your hand. And you squeeze it up. I, you know, like when I was in when I was in junior high, I used to sit in my room at night with my ball and squeeze it up. But oh yeah, just squeeze it up. I haven't done that in years. Yeah, it's not. Well, I guess it's healthy in a sense. You know. <laughs> I, that that's about that, that's about wrapping the show up right there. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate your time. I appreciate it. Meeting you. Thank you. Tastes like chicken.